Welcome to Subway Q&A. We're here at City Hall where every week hundreds of New Yorkers get married. We're here to find a couple, bring them on the subway, and marry them on the train. Why? Because City Hall is boring and the subway is not. I'm going to have a wedding down here in the subway today. Is that a good idea? Honestly, no. no. Why not? It's not romantic. Yeah, it's not romantic? Wanna, yeah. Well, compared to you City Hall. You don't want to start it's... a life in a subway. It's just not appealing down there. It's not the sort of place I'd like to get married in. Not romantic enough. Where do you get married? No idea. Somewhere church. in this building, oh, I think, right? Oh, in this building? Yeah. Yeah, church. No idea. <laughs> you got married here? Yeah. Was it a nice ceremony? Yeah, it was beautiful. Are you sorry you didn't get married in the subway? You work here? Mm-hmm. You do? What do you do? Security. Security? <laughs> You see a lot of couples coming in getting married. Yeah, it's a lot of couples. Do they come up here by the dumpster and consummate the relationship, if you know what I mean, huh? Because you're security. Yeah, I'm You scared. would bust a cap in their ass, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> A misconception that black people are, are um, naturally like athletic or naturally graceful or naturally sexual. That we're very formal, we're very strict, we don't like to joke around a lot. Like what they see in rap music, they think that all black people act that a certain way. Black people consider a lot of white people get more more uh, opportunities than black people, you know, which isn't the case. That we're just we're lazy, that we're not really hard working people, and we are. That we're all racist, and that every single thing we ever do has to do with them being black and us being white. That black folks are unlike them, yeah, or they're not like black folks, which I think people are pretty similar these days. Square, that we can't dance, because <laughs> I can dance. I can't cook. I, can't, I don't have the time. I don't know. I'm honest. This Sunday I made salmon, mashed potatoes, green beans, and cornbread. I'll be honest, I can't remember. Food Emporium opened up in our building, so I'm going down there. Last night I made steamed fish, rice and peas. Probably two nights ago, spinach fettuccine with sweet potato feta and leek. Uh, three months ago? And I made grilled salmon. Two weeks ago. I used a George Foreman grill and I made um, marinated chicken breasts. Last Saturday, and I made turkey burgers, my favorite. Spaghetti and meatballs, about a week ago Sunday. These are our kosher organic chickens. We're gonna make that tonight. I make coffee, and I make cocktails. That's all I make. Stay alert! You guys just got married? Yes. Was it a nice little ceremony? Yes, yes it was. Do you know what would be better? If you guys came with me, and you got married on the subway. On a subway? Oh. I don't want to get married on a subway. How was the ceremony? Very good. Very Thank nice? You. Very nice. Is this your first time getting married? No, it's not actually, but in my heart, yes. <laughs> yeah, how many times have you been married? Uh, second time. Second time. Yes. Your first time? Third time. Third time. Very Third good. Time. First time at City Hall? Uh, third time in City Hall. What about you? First time at City Hall? Yes, it is. All right. Yes. We're going to get you guys married on the subway. We're going to okay. improve the wedding ceremony right now, down on the subway. Let's go, okay? okay. All right. Just you once, twice, three times a lady. This is on Metro. Yes, okay. After you. After you. And the wedding party? Yes, please, please. There you go. <laughs> I can't get in. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Hi, can I ask you a quick question? Please? Uh, my name's Tad. What's your name? Nikki. Nikki? Um, so I noticed you had some flowers. Tomorrow's my birthday. Tomorrow's your birthday? So are those flowers uh, from somebody? From my coworkers. That is so nice. I feel like I need to get you a gift. You got anything for Nikki? It's her birthday tomorrow. Mm -hmm. How about uh, the newspaper? No. How about that white rag? No. You need that? Yeah. What's that for? Me. For sweat? Yeah. Can I, can I use it? No. Da, da, da. What do you got for Nikki? 29. 29, you got a big bag. What do you got, a pen in there? Yeah. Oh, that is so nice. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Hey, Nikki, wait till I show you what Lou got you. It's going to be a surprise, though. 
What do you got? How about the sports section? Um, how about the whole the comics? Oh, the whole newspaper? Yeah. That's so nice. This is the newspaper the day before she turned 29. Today's newspaper. Today's newspaper. This is a fresh newspaper. Yeah, you got it. What's your name? Julius. Julius. All right, Julius is coming through, Nikki. Thanks, Julius. You got anything for Nikki? I can give her a pack of gum. Oh, that would be so... <laughs> that would be amazing. What you got in there? Hawaiian punch? Yeah. You're a huge... Are you a... Let me see that. Are you a huge Hawaiian punch? No, no, Let me no. Let's take that out. What are you doing with Hawaiian punch? I love you. Is that the, like, just in the powdery concentrate? No, that's the can. Oh, the, oh. Because that stuff's good to eat on its own. Oh, Excuse Can you? I give her one of these? No. Oh. <laughs> this is from uh, 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 Lou. Lou. Lou right there got you that pen. And this is from um, Ju uh, Julius. Julius got you the, t that's today's paper. Thank you. Happy birthday, dear Nikki. Everybody, happy birthday to you. Yes. You brought a little wedding party here with you. Yes. Who are these people? This is my best friend, George. Oh, were you the best man? Yes. And who are you? And this is my friend, uh, Melpo. Melpo. Very we, good. We go back a long time together. Excellent, us, yes. excellent. You looking forward to the Subway wedding? Oh, I am. First okay. time. Can't yes. wait. We're so happy. Well, you're all going to play an important role, all right? We have to get some people involved oh, here. OK. All so right. spread out. All right. Get the wedding party happening, all right? You want to be a bridesmaid? So we have a best man, but you want to be a part of the wedding, sir? Want to be a part of the wedding? No, thank you. You sure? Yeah, there had to be someplace else. But do you know Margaret and Jimmy? No, I They're don't. They're very good people. Oh, God bless them. Margaret and Jimmy are getting married, and we need some people to be a part of the wedding. Yeah? You will throw the rice aroni chicken and garlic flavored. I have the yellow rice. You can do the, uh, the instant rice, OK? OK. That's too messy. Oh, beautiful, huh? Very nice. Yes, not the eyes. Don't get them in the eyes. Yes. It's starting to feel like a real wedding, right? Yes, very good. You have a lot of, you have rice and pasta in your hair. That's no good. Uh, it's like a bird feeder. Jimmy and Margaret's reception is in full swing. It's time for cake. Hey, yeah. Welcome back to Subway Q&A. We have reached the moment in the wedding where the bride and the groom, Jimmy and Margaret, recite their vows. You guys okay with that? Yes, we are. All right, I think that you guys should write your own vows. So I'm gonna help you. What are some of the things you really like about Margaret? Oh, she's such a wonderful person. Okay. She will do anything to make you happy. Anything to make you happy? Yes. <laughs> All right, good. We like that, there you go. You take it, you go first. Okay, well, like I said, she's a wonderful person very caring person, she's a wonderful wife, and she will do anything to make me happy. I love you very much. I'm very lucky. That's a big rock, huh? Yeah, wow. Yeah. That's a big rock. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. By the powers vested in me, by Subway Q&A, that means nothing, by the way, I now pronounce you man and wife. Yay! Yay! Cancer, you hit your 40s and you, you know, something happens to your health and the answer to the question is cancer. My kids, because they are back in the islands and I want them here with me. School. Money, because I haven't invested and it's time to. I'm 31 and I've gained like two or three inches in my belly. Rent and electricity and the fact that my telephone has been shut off four times. I work at a high school and I've been worrying about the kids. One student began crying in class because his dad just told him he never wanted to see him ever again. And then a girl told me she had been pregnant last year in eighth grader. So I was concerned about that. What's your name? It's Troni. Troni? Yes. What kind of uh, nicknames did you have growing up? Oh, Troni, Baloney, Pony. Macatroni? No, that, that didn't come out. Troni's hard. 
Yeah. But it builds character, right? Because you had of to do Of course, yeah. of course. I was, uh, actually, I was a bully when I was a kid. Because of the trony name? Yeah, the name did it. You had to be tough. Oh, yeah. So if anybody tried that trony baloney uh, stuff on you when you were a kid, they'd get, what, popped? Uh, yeah, severely. What was your um, punishment of choice? Actually, I think it was the forearm to the head or neck, you know, body slam. What would happen if Tony met uh, Howie on the, on the, uh... He seems like a great guy. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's beautiful. Tony's really changed, you know? That's what I love about Tony. $120 for it. I can wear it down or up, so it lasts a long time. My hair is really growing from it. $4 on 10th Street. 200 I got it on Columbus and 80th Street. My hair cut, never cut. 21 years ago was the last time I cut it. Free. Did it myself. This is all just beeswax and not washing. Well, mine is free because I don't get haircuts. 1996 was the last time I got a cut. In Nigeria, if we are to equate our own currency to dollar, it is around 20 cents. I am about to spend $80 on a haircut, which will probably leave me feeling like all the rest of them do. What happened, not much. <laughs> Welcome back to Subway Q&A. Margaret and Jimmy's wedding has moved into the reception area. We're very excited to have champagne and toasts right now. Everyone fired up? Fired up! Yeah, yeah! yeah. You know, it's cider. Let's celebrate. Here's to Margaret and Jimmy, our new best friends. Yay! Love and happiness. And good health. Short but sweet. I've been to a lot of weddings, but this surpasses all of them. This one ranks for, is one for the books. To Margaret and Jimmy, I like to give this toast to you, because y'all are some beautiful people. And you know, this is the funnest fun pass I ever had on the subway. <laughs> And I like to say congratulations and enjoy your wedding. Yeah. Margaret and Jimmy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cheers. Hey, you know why this ride is so smooth? Because the transit system has a space age computerized supersonic subway car that makes sure the tracks are all in the right place so we don't crash. Is this your, uh, your vehicle right here? This is one of the vehicles that we have. This is uh, the track geometry car. So you're measuring the geometry of, of, the, the, uh, tracks. of the tracks. Hence, hence the title, track geometry car, right? That's right. Right now we are in one of the tubes of the New York City Transit. Yeah. And uh, we are looking at the actual geometry of the tunnel. And this is, how are we seeing that you, you have lasers shooting out of this train? We have a laser yeah. in front of the train. Right. And that laser is going around in a, in a spiral and it's shooting at the tunnel uh, walls. Do you ever go to the, any of the laser shows at like the planetarium, like Led Zeppelin laser, where they shoot the lasers? Yes, I have done that, yeah. and I think it's pretty neat. Now, if something was wrong with one of the tracks, it would show up on this, uh, on this laser-enhanced computer screen, right? Yes, it would show over here. What would be really bad? What would For be For example, a, a wide gauge. A wide um, gauge? And that means that the trains can actually fall on, on the ground. Oh, I got a Charlie horse. There are lasers shooting into me, and then it's going to appear on the computer screen. That's me. That's my laser image. What's the biggest risks working on the tracks? We have to trip it has us on the third rail. Yeah, now, we're awfully close. I mean, the third rail is only like a few inches away there. Yes. So literally, if you were to fall and touch that third rail, you would get electrocuted. Yes. Wow. I have my uh, learner's permit here. See that? You got that? Okay, so uh, is that good enough to uh, to drive this thing? Um, I'm not sure. It'll do for today. Okay, here we go. Oh! Okay. Oh. Release it, release it. Yeah, all right. Roll the brakes. Yeah, oh! <laughs> oh, look at this. Control the speed with this. This, okay. Here we go. So now we're moving this way? Yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, nice to see you.
That's enough. That's enough, right? Okay. So load up your Metro cards, New York, because I'll be driving a train to your neighborhood soon. Right, Fred? Yes, sure. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Subway Q&A, where Jimmy and Margaret's reception is in full swing. It's time for cake. Hey, yeah. What's your name? Hugo. Give Hugo some cake. I'm a, I'm a diabetic, sorry. Don't give Hugo any cake. Do not give Hugo cake. The bride feeds the groom. The bride feeds the groom. Hi ho, the dairy ho. The bride feeds the groom. And the groom feeds the bride. The groom feeds the bride. Hi ho. Get him back. The groom feeds the bride. Yes, all right. Very nice. Oh. It's a beautiful ceremony, isn't it? Yes, it is. Only in New York. Only in New York. Only in New York. Welcome back to Subway Q&A. Jimmy and Margaret. It's got to be the most screwed up reception you've ever experienced in your life, yes? Yes. yes but it's fun, right? Of course it's fun. All right, fun. it's going to get funner right now because we're going to dance. Yes. Everyone know the hokey pokey? Yes. All right, I'll teach you. You put your right foot in, you put your right foot out, you put your, okay, you guys have to sing with me, come on. You put your right foot in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Man, man, you have to turn back, okay? You can't stay that way, you gotta turn around. All right, we gotta do it again, let's do it again. You put your left foot in, you put your left foot out. Keep going. You put your left foot in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey yeah, and you yeah. turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Yeah! All right, sir. Sir. Okay, sir. This is your right foot and this is your left foot. All right? All right. Okay. All right. because I've just never had an AM um, reason to believe in God, I guess. Of course. I've been through so many things in my life, and um, I know he was there, because I could have been dead right now, many things that I've been through. Yes. No. I've seen proof. I've seen proof. Yes, I believe in God, because uh, if we are to look at the uh, American currency, there is one logo which is in God we trust. Absolutely not. Good for them. I, I yeah. envy it, the faith, but it's not me. People say it's an accident, but, uh, you know, somebody had to put it together. So where are you going? To work. Yeah? Oh, really? You start working now? I'm just going to a meeting. A meeting at 5 o'clock? Yeah. What kind of meeting? About what kind of stuff are you going to talk about? Uh, about people in the world. Nyla, what if, um, do you want me to come uh, with you to the meeting? Absolutely not. Not a chance? No. Okay. I could, uh, I could uh, probably fake it in the meeting. I don't think so. Uh, why? You don't think I could, I could handle the topic? No, I don't. You just don't look the part. I'm sorry. You want to pretend we're in the meeting right now? No. And then I can show you what a good job I would do. I'm sure you... Right, you want to start? You start the meeting and no. I'll... Right. Should we read the meeting, uh, the minutes first? No, why don't you go to a different car and find more people? Listen, are you, is that... Is you going to use this attitude in the meeting? Because that's not going to be effective in the meeting. Is the meeting about your attitude problem? <laughs> no. Are you being brought in for a disciplinary pr purpose? Absolutely not. You know that Nyla, she's got a bit of an attitude. Uh, can we have a meeting to discuss Nyla's attitude? So what kind of business uh, is the meeting going to be discussing? You just say people. Can you be a little more specific? I'm a therapist. Ooh. Like a, a psychotherapist? Yes. Can I, can I uh, you know, see you as an analyst possibly right now? No. No? What if I lie down? 
you move over and lie down, and I lie down, and then I'll give you some. You can lie down, but. Why can't I? Can I talk to you? And you can give me some tips. I don't know if I missed my stop. So, the problem is mostly about my mother. Yeah, and, um, I can imagine. <laughs> and an abandonment issue. raised by crazy parents who fought like crazy. I was, I don't know, a big queen ever since I was a little kid. Grew up, went to crazy college, came to New York, been busting my ass for three years and I'm finally getting the hookups. I do house music and trance and stuff like that, so I'm all about dance music and dancing. <laughs> Well, that'll do it for this installment of Subway Q&A. We successfully married Jimmy and Margaret here on the subway. Jimmy, will the six always have a special part in your heart now? Definitely. Special place? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. yes. Anniversaries right here on the six train? Yes, All right. All right, get on the train, take your special Subway Q&A veil, and have a great life together. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.